Hello YouTubers, so today we're just going to be talking about some major, major problems and reasonings by talking about the biggest problem for young men, which is us as teenagers, and I just really want to talk about it because there's a lot of YouTubers out there that don't talk, that talks about it, but not as much because they mostly talk about the men instead of the young men, so I'm going to really get to my points, and I have a lot, so hope you enjoy this, not too much, but you will enjoy it, let's get to it, and before I say anything, I just want to tell you that I am not a doctor, I am not no big, you know, guy with a degree or anything. I'm just a normal, you know, teenager just telling you these things. So what I want to talk about to start off is is that, and hope this doesn't go to just generally just the African American community, but to you guys as well, but it's that, you know, your passion doesn't always have to be basketball, you know. You don't have to always do basketball all the time. You can do other things as well, such as just me recording a YouTube video, you can do that, doing podcasting, doing, you know, majority of other things besides basketball, or even doing art, dancing, because there's a bunch of boys who dance on TikTok, and that's not nothing girly, that's something that you can do and have fun with, because if you want to dance, then dance, do whatever you are really passionate or truly love doing, because you should do that instead of wasting your time to play like basketball or even sports in general like football or something to please your dad or please your girlfriend or please anyone you can't please no one in this world you gotta please yourself and that's what you need to realize so just start pleasing yourself and don't worry about what no one else thinks the next one I want to discuss is that you quit too early just notice this young men all of us if if things don't go our way we should quit you're saying if my YouTube channel doesn't grow I should quit because it has 33 subscribers and it has, as it's recording, 33 subscribers and like 101 videos. You think I should quit then? No, I shouldn't quit. I should still be going because you don't know what could happen in the future. Why should I quit on something that could help me in the long run? Why should I quit on something that might help me move on? Why should I quit on something that I'm passionate about and that I love? And especially with podcasting. Because as it's recording, my podcast hasn't grown yet. It's like right here. But in the future, if I keep on being consistent, in the future it will get up here. And, you know, it's not about making money, like I said. It's just about you truly loving what you're doing and doing it. But in my opinion, I still think if you truly love what you're doing, you still should get paid for it because you want to make a living off of what you love doing. And that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. If you don't quit and stay consistent, that reward or whatever happens will come in the long run because the hard work will definitely pay off. That's what I said in my last videos. The hard work will pay off. And it doesn't even have to be your passion. It's going to just be whatever it is, schoolwork, academics, whatever. If you keep on doing it, it will really pay off. And the third one I want to talk about is simping. Stop simping all the time. Stop trying to find a girlfriend or, oh, I got uh, I'm trying to find the right girlfriend. I'm trying to find this. I'm trying to find that. I'm trying to find the right girlfriend. Man, I can't get her. Man, I can't do this. Man, I can't do that. You're stressing so much on a girl. And you can be doing this to be focusing on yourself. To be making yourself do better. To be disciplining yourself to just exercise. Groom your hair. If you have hair, facial hair, groom your facial hair. Be more passionate about what... Be more... Do more things in your passion. And also just have an open more mind to doing... A lot of things are trying a lot of things that you always wanted to try or do in your lifetime instead of worrying about a girl that probably wouldn't want you. And if you do date her, it probably won't last because as teenagers, usually most, the majority of them, when they date girls, you know, us as young men, they generally, relationships really don't last long. And for me, I never was in a relationship, so I can't really say that. But for some people, you know, it's a short relationship. And with me having friends who did that and having a family member who's, you know, young men as me, dating girls, he can understand that relationships don't last long. And then, you know, another thing to add to that is that for you guys who aren't simps, but you guys still want a girlfriend, you can still search for a girlfriend, but don't get too hype up on it. Don't let your buddies, don't let society, your parents, your grandparents, anyone, uncle, auntie, decide you to get a girlfriend. You will get that girlfriend. God knows what he's going to do in your life. So just let God flow in your life, and you will find the right girl. And don't think all the time, oh, this is the right girl, this is the right girl. Because sometimes 
that girl can look right in the outside, but in the inside, she can really be very toxic or maybe not even be your type. So you just got to really be careful with who you're meeting, who you're talking to, who you're dating, and just generally everything. So it really depends on a person because you can't judge no one by their looks, but God will show you, like I said, because God knows he's doing your life. And speaking of God, that's the next one I want to talk about. Start putting God first, young men. That's another problem that's going on. Too much young men aren't trying to put God first. Everyone's worrying about themselves. And yes, you're probably saying, Bryn, are you contradicting yourself? No, I'm not. Because I said focus on yourself. But I mean focus on yourself to do better. I didn't say focus on yourself just to worry about yourself and to worry about God. Always put God as number one priority because God is the reason why you're still alive, the reason why you're still doing what you're doing, the reason why you're still functioning, moving, everything. And that's why I always say, don't just be sitting here, like, doing nothing. Stop trying to be like, oh, I can't do this, oh, I can't do that, or, or putting God down and just being like, goodbye, I'm going to go do what I want to do. You can't do that. You have to put God first. You got to do what you got to do for God. You got to read your word. And I'm going to tell you right now that most of the time, if I don't forget, I get up in the morning, first thing I do Go read my Bible. And after that, I go exercise. After I go exercise, go take a shower and then do the rest of my day by recording YouTube videos and such more like that. And that's what you have to do. You have to discipline yourself while also maintaining to put God first before anything. And I should say put God before you even go to bed too. Maybe read a little scripture before you go to bed if you want to do that. But always say your morning prayers and your nightly prayers so that you can... To show God your ability, that you're grateful for what he does, and that you can have compassion for God. And some people, you know, want to do this just to please people. Don't do this to please people. Do this because you want to do it. Do it because you truly love doing it. Because I understand there are different types of people when it comes to God. Like, there are people who want to worship God, but they get sidetracked easily. There are some people who know God truly and were raised in a house about God, but just doesn't want to study the Word because they're letting their temptations get them, the flesh temptations. And then thirdly, there are some people who just generally don't know about God and wants to know about them. And that's why on my YouTube channel, right now in this video, I want to tell you those three type of people to listen in. Put God first. And like I said, the first thing is, if you, as long as you read that Bible when you get up or put your alarm on, grab that Bible. First thing you do when you get up that bed, read your daily bread or read something. You will feel better for the rest of your day. Because for me doing it for this whole week to tell you. I feel better with what I'm doing, you know, reading the word and just doing it. I feel really better. And also while feeling better, I forgot to wear these to tell you guys that, hey, these are Jay Black glasses. When you wear these, you'll be amazing. You'll feel better. But we'll explain this later on. Let's just get to the next part. What I want to talk about is fashion. You can't be worrying about what people tell you to do. Oh, you need to dress like this. You need to dress like that. You need to dress like this. Dress like yourself, man. Dress like yourself, but don't look crazy up. Don't wear baggy shorts or don't look all crazy and like a donkey. Make sure you wear the right stuff. Make sure you wear the right outfit. Like with me, I've got a polo on, got shorts on that you can't see. And I can't wear shoes because I'm inside the house, so I'm not going to wear shoes. But, you know, have nice sneakers. It's okay to go with the trends and wear Jordans and all those things. But please, 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 don't get all crazy up. Don't spend up too much and don't get all crazy up. But we're going to get to that. But let's just talk about this. You know, you need to... Wear glasses as well, because glasses are really great when it comes to fashion. And these are J Black glasses, like I tell you. These are made with Italian sealed polarizing lenses, UV and sunlight, and blue light blocking protection. And also, they don't just have these as casual glasses. They also have sunglasses, which these are the Emperor's Shades sunglasses. These are the other glasses that I love so much, which are called the Nomads. These are the Nomads, and there's even more designs. And also, they're having a new launch that will be on June 26th. So I hope you go there to get that new launch because it's going to be on June 26th. So hopefully you go check that out at the store. And also, the store link will be down below. And hopefully when you go down and go check out that store, use my 10% coupon code BRENDANB15 to get 10% off when you purchase these glasses or even the different designs they have in the store. And also, I forgot to tell you, these glasses are made of stainless steel too. And you want to know why they're stainless steel? Because you're using my 10% coupon code, which is BrendanB15. 
So make sure you get these stainless steel glasses, which are a stainless steel when you use my 10% coupon code. Alrighty, but enough marketing. Let's get to the real part of this video. So yeah, like I said, you have got to really enjoy life, dress the way you want to dress, and enjoy it. But my thing is, I want to tell you that we're young. Don't spend it up all foolishly. If you have a job, which I don't have a job, I'm an unemployed teenager, which is okay because we're minors. <laughs> but, you know, if you do have a job, make sure that you really are saving your money or you're either investing in stock markets. Because if you do that in the long run, you really will be happy because financial literacy is the key. And I tell you, I love talking about financial literacy. I can go all along, but I don't want to prolong the video because I really do have some things to say that I don't want to prolong. But I just want to tell you one more thing that financial literacy is the key. Make sure you save your money. Make sure you don't spend foolishly. And make sure when you save your money, just keep it to you. Don't be selfish. You can still tell people if you want to that you're making money, but... Just make sure that you don't let to spend your money like crazy. And also, if you want to make money online, just search for some hacks or anything to make money online. And also, like I said, my advice is to do YouTubing or even start a podcast because you can get financially financially rewarded by that as well. Another thing is vaping, guys. You got to stop with the vaping. The vaping is not good, you know. I've never vaped. I never used any of those stuff. I'm just saying, by watching these videos and learning all these things, vaping is not good for you. You need to let it go. And if you're trying to look for an addiction to really stop yourself, then you need to really get mental health or go online at these sites to help you. Or even if you don't want that, then you better put God first and discipline yourself to do better because, like I said, vaping is nothing to play with. And you got to really be careful because vaping is is addictive so you really need to get off that stuff and just stop it you know please stop it we got three more left I promise you we got three more left when we're done but the next one I want to talk about is masculinity don't let people define your masculinity that's why I want to tell you that's another problem that we as young men have we think if we be muscular or if we do this we're showing off to a girl or showing off to our parents or showing off to our dads don't worry about what no one says be you because with me I don't give a darn if I'm not masculine or whatever because, hey, I'm Brendan Brown. I don't got to prove my point because there are a bunch of people who are nerdy and smart, and guess what? They're making more money than anyone. And I'm not just talking about the money, but I'm just saying, look at that. Look at the status. For an average human being, they'll be like, what? What? But for people like us, one percenters, we'll be like, yeah, that was amazing. He did well because he was smart. That's the problem. People look in the outside instead of looking inside. Oh, well, excuse me. People look in the inside instead of look outside. People like to think inside the box and everything outside the box. And that's what get me upset sometimes with, you know, people in this world and society. Everybody wants to think like a robot. And that's the problem with society. Everyone is like a robot. They're just, me, me, me. I'm supposed to work a nine to five. I was born. I was a teenager. As a teenager, we should work jobs. Boop, boop, boop to train us in the future. And schools train us to work a job too. Boop, 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 boop. Then eventually when I become an adult, I work a nine to five. Boop, boop, boop. Until I become 60, then I retire and be miserable for the rest of my life. Really? No. That's not what's supposed to happen. Get that out of here. Kick that out of here. What's supposed to really happen is that you're supposed to be born here to have a purpose. And whatever your purpose is, you should fulfill it. And you should get financial rewards from it. And after that, you should save your money or invest it. And then by the time you're older, you can either still work on your passion or just retire. But hey, guess what? Even if you do retire, you were already retiring when you were younger because you were working on your passions. And now since you're starting young, like how I always say, start young, which I'll get to that point, it will benefit. Which is the one we're going to talk about now, which is the value of you. Don't let people determine what you can do. Because you can do whatever the heck you can do if you put God first and also just believe in yourself. See, when you put yourself first, you feel motivated to do what you can do. When you feel like you're just motivating persons, motivated, you'll feel great. And you know, if you just put yourself first, like I said, you will feel great. But I want to tell you my story so this can inspire you to let you know. I was once a guy who was average, who never had a purpose in life. I started out doing construction with my dad. Thought that was amazing. 
but then I realized it wasn't amazing because there's nothing fun about being outside or just, you know, doing things construction-wise. The only fun thing I liked really was that I was outside and I could have smelled the fresh, clean air, which was beneficial and fun for me. But there was no PlayStation. There was no, like, creativity, which I don't think about PlayStation. But there's no creativity. There was no, hey, what's fun about this? All basically is that you're just doing this. You're ripping this out. You're doing this. You're fixing this. Da, 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 and you're fixing the window. Da, da, da. And it's, it's not fun, you know. Construct. It's not fun. And, you know, people were telling me, because that was in around 2016, 2017, people were like, then when in, weren't you, um, people were like, hey, Brennan, yeah, that's great, that's great, Brennan. Then when 2018 came, because when I got to middle school, that's when I realized that God showed me that that wasn't my purpose. My grandma even told me that. Everyone was like, Brennan, why aren't you doing it? Brennan, why aren't you doing that? Brennan, why aren't you doing that? And then my father was thinking, hey, that's going to make you less of a man. And that was when, and see, this is confirmation when I was talking about masculinity. That made me feel like I was less of a man because I didn't know about construction. But I didn't feel bad about that because, hey, society has trained your mind like that. And that's a good example of reference what I said earlier about society. Society trains your, man to, your mind to think that because you're a boy, you have to do this and that. No. But I'm not telling you don't be a wimp or don't be acting like a little scaredy cat. But, you know. You should have courage as a boy. That's natural for us to have courage as a boy. But at the same time, we got to be unique and masculine in our uniqueness. We shouldn't be masculine in what society says. We should be masculine in our uniqueness. Our uniqueness should be our masculinity as young teens. And also, like I said, that's what they were training my mind to think. And so my father was mad for about that whole year. And then eventually, when 2019 came, the following year after 2018, he forgave me. And he said, I'm sorry, Brennan, for that. If you don't want to do construction, you don't have to do it. But I still want you to watch me. And then eventually I told him I don't want to learn it. And he was telling me about the company. Da, 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 da. And then eventually the months passed by. I was in eighth grade. It was late fall 2019, before the pandemic. I was just starting to figure out my purpose. And I think my purpose was coming in because it seemed like for years, ever since middle school, or even when I was younger, leading up to then, and that even now, I just loved motivating others and giving people great advice because people had always said to me, even since I've been like five, no, ever since I've been eight or nine, that I've always had a lot of wisdom for a young man like me, a young boy. And ever since that, that just came to my mind. And when I met this boy named Jeremiah Patterson, who has a podcast as well, his link is down below, I looked at his podcast and it inspired me to create a podcast, which I never knew the topic was going to be about. So what happened was, was that I did podcasting, I found my purpose, but I didn't find my niche. So I did that, skipped 2020, because the pandemic came, so I started in March, because I was going to start in late November 2019, but I decided to start in March. Skipped a whole month, over 2021, I saw the No Job podcast, I saw a trailer for it in December, and then I saw it in January, and... When I saw the No Job podcast and by watching Alan Levi Simmons since August of 2020, they both combined and inspired me to talk about self-improvement. And that was my purpose all along. I never knew it. That was the problem. I had my purpose, which is podcasting, but I didn't have the niche. Same thing with YouTubing. I YouTubed in 2020, but I burnt out and quit because I just didn't feel confident. But I realized that I had my purpose. I just never knew what my niche was. And then... Like I told you, 2021, God allowed me to take my purpose and niche and combine them together. Because 2020, I had my purpose. I didn't have my niche. And what you need to know is, young man, is that whatever your purpose is, it should go with that niche. Once you have your niche and purpose together combined, that is great. Just like basketball. If you're a basketball player, what's your niche? Like, I mean, your niche as in, like, what is your position? What is your team? You got to think deeper. You can't just think. Think like this. Deep. Boom. Purpose. Niche. Boom. Just your purpose. Mm -mm. You need purpose. Niche. Boom. Just like that. And ever since then, I've been doing it. I've been doing YouTube videos. I have been consistent. And I have found my purpose. And I just want to tell you guys that story because, you know, people used to always say, sit around and do nothing. Sit around and do nothing. And then eventually, 2020 came, people thought I was still sitting around doing nothing, but I was actually secretly making a podcast that no one ever knew until May or June. And then eventually now, 
everyone just automatically generally know me in the house of thinking that, hey, Brennan's just a normal YouTuber or a normal podcaster who's doing things, but she's going to grow it and eventually hope I can make a living off this because I love doing this and YouTube and podcasting and just helping people and motivating others is just something I'm naturally doing. And, you know, like I said, by watching Jordan Green and also by watching that other guy I forgot to tell you guys about, or I think I told you on the last video, Care for Rami, it inspired me to do better. So I'm thankful for it. And, guys, I just want to tell you thank you for watching this whole YouTube video if you made it this far. Like I told you all again, if you want J Black glasses, the link is down below. Also, if you want them, check out my podcast. The link is down below. And my friend Jeremiah, who I referenced earlier, his link is down below as well. So God bless you. Have a blessed day. Hope you st stay safe. And hope you got some info from this video. God bless you, young men. Hope you all do better in life. And remember, your masculinity is your uniqueness.